Hey guys, I'm gonna be going over the plan for how to achieve your CompTIA A plus certification. All right, hey, so I'm Dan the Tech. Um, I have all the listed certifications here, the CompTIA IT Fundamentals, A plus, Net plus, Sec plus, CISA, Project Plus, uh, MTA, CCNA, and I have a bachelor's degree in information technology. All right, so step one to achieving your A plus certification. First, you're going to visit the A plus website and take a look at the exam details. Also download the exam objectives, like you see in this picture here, you're just gonna fill out your information on the CompTIA website, download the exam objectives. Note the details do state that you can expect a maximum of up to 90 questions on the exam. You could have 90 or less than 90, but usually it could be around 90, okay? And um, you'll be taking two exams to achieve your A-plus certification. Now, it's recommended on the site that you have up to nine to 12 months of experience. Um, I didn't have any experience in IT when I took these certifications. Don't let that discourage you, go for it. The price is only uh, $232 USD, and I think it's a great entry-level certification. Okay, so getting your study folder ready. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and save those obje uh, exam objectives uh, to a folder on your desktop and in a three ring binder. Okay, I'm old school, I like to put in a binder. Um, also check out Professor Messer's uh, free A plus course. His videos are short and to the point. I bought his notes he offers um, on his website. I highly recommend you purchase them as they contain a lot of the topics that you're gonna be expected to know and memorize in order to be successful when taking this exam. No, I'm not being paid to say this, and I mean, it would be great if he did pay me, right? <laughs> All right. Also, buy flashcards, okay? Um, I've created about 300 flashcards for every exam I have taken, um, except for the one that I failed. And I'll go, about, I'll go over that later. All right. Also, get some rubber bands and put the rubber bands around each stack like you see here. Now, I like to buy the colored rubber bands. So the red rubber band will be like um, priority information. Blue rubber band is information I must know. Yellow is for information I could encounter on the exam. And you should also separate each stack by the domain. So usually on a CompTIA certification, you could expect five to six domains when um, taking those certifications, okay? And some of the things that you're gonna need to memorize are gonna be like port numbers, RAM, pin, speeds, 24 and five gigahertz spectrum of channels, uh, cat, cable categories, SATA cables, ports, et cetera. There's so much that you're gonna need to remember, so just get those flashcards and make them. All right, next you're gonna have to get a book. I recommend getting the Mike Myers A plus book and uh, it's shown in the picture above. It's called the CompTIA A plus certification all in one study guide. You can also get the Cybex A plus study guide. Now I've always read over Mike Myers books for the A plus. Um, they're very detailed. They're also very entertaining. You'd be surprised. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy them as much as I did. Or you can get the Cybex one and Cybex has never let me down. Choose run and just read it front to back. And when you're going over the book, make sure you highlight the important topics and then create flashcards off those topics. All right, practice exams. So um, when you're reading either one of those books, you can get the Total Seminars Training Hub. Um, it has some great practice exams that goes along with Mike Meyer's book or you can get the Cybex practice test and those will really challenge you. <laughs> those are challenging questions. Now, those are just practice tests, it's not, it's not an exam dump, don't do that. 
don't buy an exam don't um don't do that right just get these um practice exams off of uh you know total seminars has a great one cybex has a great one and I just know that exam dumps will disqualify you from taking the exam so don't do it all right and also when you're going over these practice exams um, create flashcards off of some of the topics that you're having a hard time with that way you could memorize whatever information you need to memorize and just brush up on that okay also watch some uh, youtube videos on how to build a pc i like watching how to build a PC step-by-step -step with build with me. Um, I thought that was great. And I watched that YouTube video. Uh, also, I helped a buddy put his PC together. And afterwards, I felt like I understood more about um, how to put the PC together and more about SATA cables, RAM, CPU, and graphics, and how all that comes together, all right? So, just watch those videos so you get some more insight into how those components work. Okay, next, build a lab using VirtualBox. VirtualBox is completely free and just gain some experience in building out your own little enterprise lab with the Windows 2016 server, connect some Windows 10 clients to it, you know, open up Active Directory and become familiar with that. Um, YouTube has a bunch of videos on how to create your own labs using VirtualBox. Again, that's free. Next, you're going to have to schedule your exam. Now, you're going to have to follow through with intense study prior to taking the exam. Ensure you score 85 to 90% on your practice exams before scheduling. And good luck. Show up early, bring two forms of ID, be well rested, and also it's okay if you fail, okay? Um, I failed my first CompTIA exam. Uh, and you know why I failed? It was because I didn't have a plan. I studied the night before, I showed up exhausted. <laughs> I took the test and I failed it. I walked out of there and I reevaluated why I failed. And it was because I was missing everything that I just presented to you right now. Okay. So just go ahead and follow this plan. And I hope you're successful in achieving your CompTIA A plus certification. If you pass, great. But just note there's no end all be all certification. You know, even with my certifications, my degree, my experience. Um, that's not an end-all be-all. I still got to get more certifications, gain more um, experience, et cetera, all right? And, and like and subscribe, this is the way.